I'm Ben with the BTC Sessions, and this is your bullish bit brought to you by BitcoinWell.com, the simplest and quickest way to buy Bitcoin in the US or Canada and get it directly into your own self custody. Check them out today at the links down below. There's a lot of like crackdowns on on Bitcoin privacy tools earlier in the year, and uh, it got pretty dicey. And we saw the samurai guys get arrested and they're you know, in the midst of sorting that mess, we've got the, you know, in the realm of privacy, the tornado cash guy is actually facing criminal trial now. Um, you know, Wasabi preemptively bent the knee and it was all for naught because they had to spin down there and sunset their coordinator anyways. In the ashes of what happened with these crackdowns, we're starting to see Bitcoin privacy approach its, uh, we'll say it's exiting its Napster phase and moving into its BitTorrent phase in that it's kind of more so now instead of being able to point at somebody and say like, oh, shut that down. Now it's going to be more of a game of whack-a-mole. And the reason I say that is Wasabi Wallet, you can now like sub in different and you always could, but you can sub in different coordinators and there weren't really any for a while. And then as soon as they sunset theirs, there started to be quite a lot of liquidity on these other coordinators. So no longer Wasabis, but other people running them more anonymously. Uh, but the thing that I'm kind of interested in today is this. This is an anonymous fork of Samurai Wallet. Um, and so it basically, I mean, it, it pretty much looks exactly like Samurai with some updates. Um, it has a lot of the original features like Paynim and onion routing and ricochet and all, all these different kind of like features for on-chain Bitcoin privacy. It's fully open source. The main difference is before there was a privacy concern in and around if you didn't run your own little uh, like a node box called a dojo that you would link this to, you could, well, you were effectively leaking your XPUB uh, and whether or not that was retained is I mean, the main thing is you didn't know. And so that was kind of a, a scary thing if you weren't running a dojo. But this one requires you to run one. So there is no leaking of XPUBs. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. I think it's interesting. I'm I'm going to try and do it. I think the barrier to entry is quite high. I don't know how many people are actually going to run this shit themselves. If I wanted to do this from scratch and I didn't have a dojo, how would I do that? I went to their docs and it gives me like command line shit to do, which I'm going to try and do, but like somebody's going to look at this and be like, not a chance. <laughs> um, so I think there's a long way to go, but I also think it's, it's kind of cool to see this stuff initially popping up in the face of all these legal actions and still being run anyways.